is State Cell Adventures number 179, Braddock. I've been looking forward to the chance to share with anyone not in the know about this amazing store in the heart of historic Braddock. Its name is Golden Treasures. It's part furniture store, part estate sale, part flea market, but all around amazing. This place puts the idea of never buying new to a whole different level. If you need tools and equipment, you'll first want to head to the basement where you'll find everything you need and more, including horseshoes and plenty of meat grinders. Next, you'll want to head upstairs for all the decorative serving ware. They had silver, of course, plenty of bronze and brass, and glass of every color and variety, including these decanters. There is literally so much to look at. I encourage you to head over here, take your time, and find something really unique. Obviously, I was drawn to some of the religious kitsch, and I also really liked these amazing vintage Flintstone ashtrays. So before leaving, I talked to the owner, and she told me about their warehouse. I knew it existed, but I had never been. I decided to investigate. Down on 11th Street, a few blocks away, was this church, jam-packed with so much. Too much, even. And having been to a lot of these sales, I think the price points here were pretty great. One takeaway is that they had a great assortment of mid-century modern furniture and decor. I just love that couch and these ashtrays. By far, my favorite find that I didn't buy was this brass bar cart. I'm pretty sure I saw it in a sale in Highland Park a few months ago. I'm also obsessed with this chest of drawers. I had the same exact one in my bedroom growing up, but it didn't have the mirror. But can anyone identify this statue? It weighed a ton and someone said that it came with the church when they bought it. Another interesting collection was the old and newer appliances, which included record players, antique phones, as well as novelty phones too, like this Bozo one. I really appreciated the vintage bottled and canned goods. Some were toiletries, other food products, and even some old displays like this Wrigley's gum stand. There were some retro tribal souvenir flags, a set of bullhorns, this lamp carved from a solid piece of wood, an Underwood noiseless typewriter, and plenty of original artwork too. Last but not least, the toys. In the old church office, we found the children's section. And apparently, Potato Head has a British cousin. The Raggedy Ann and Andy toys never do it for me, and neither do the baseball gloves either. But there was some old comics that were pretty cool, and a small collection of Barbies still in their boxes, including her friend, aka gay friend, Ken. And now I'm in the Twilight Zone because I just bought this same case from a different sale earlier today. I spent a little more than I normally do because I found this pristine Emerson portable phono record player in its original box. Shout out to Golden Treasures for having this sale day. And be sure to check out pghestatesales.com to see what's happening this weekend. And thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and find me on Etsy.